In League of Legends, Ezreal is a champion who can benefit from both ability power and attack damage. On today's episode of LolMath, we'll be taking a look at how beneficial both stats can be based on cost effectiveness, potential damage output, and damage per second. We'll also be taking a look at how beneficial certain items can be on Ezreal. First, let's take a look at Ezreal's abilities. Ezreal's passive ability, Rising Spell Force, will grant him 10% bonus attack speed for 6 seconds whenever he hits a target with an ability. This effect can stack up to 5 times. Ezreal's Mystic Shot ability has a cooldown equal to 6.5 minus the ability's current level times 0.5. It will also cost mana equal to 25 plus the ability's current level times 3. It will deal physical damage equal to 15 plus 20 times the ability's current level plus Ezreal's attack damage plus Ezreal's ability power times 0.2. If it hits a target, it will also reduce the cooldown on Ezreal's abilities by 1 second and apply on hit effects. Ezreal's Essence Flux ability has a 9 second cooldown and will cost mana equal to 40 plus the ability's current level times 10. It will deal magic damage equal to 25 plus the ability's current level times 45 plus Ezreal's ability power times 0.8. It will also increase the attack speed of allied champions it hits by 15% plus 5% times the ability's current level. Ezreal's Arcane Shift ability has a cooldown equal to 21 minus the ability's current level times 2. It will also cost 90 mana. It will deal magic damage equal to 25 plus the ability's current level times 50 plus Ezreal's ability power times 0.75. Ezreal's ultimate ability, True Shot Barrage, has an 80 second cooldown and costs 100 mana. It will deal magic damage equal to 200 plus 150 times the ability's current level plus Ezreal's attack damage plus Ezreal's ability power times 0.9. It will deal 8% less damage to each additional target, but will always deal at least 30% of the initial damage. Now that we've gone over Ezreal's abilities, we'll compare how much damage per gold Ezreal gets from attack damage items and ability power items, assuming Ezreal's level 18. Note that at the time of this recording, the Season 3 patch has not yet been released. However, we will be using the updated Season 3 items in our examples. At the cheapest level, a longsword costs 400 gold and grants 10 attack damage, while an amplifying tome costs 435 gold and grants 20 ability power. If we apply the items to Ezreal, we can see that the amplifying tome allows Ezreal to deal 23 extra total damage, but less damage per second. This is also the case if we assume Ezreal has 5 stacks on his passive ability and is decreasing his cooldowns with Mystic Shot whenever possible. We can see that for every 1 gold we spend on attack damage, Ezreal gains an extra 0.075 total damage across his auto attack and abilities, and about an extra 0.031 damage per second. For every 1 gold we spend on ability power, Ezreal gains an extra 0.122 total damage across his auto attack and abilities, and about an extra 0.01 damage per second. It's apparent from these results that if one wants to deal large amounts of damage consistently, they should buy attack damage on Ezreal. If one wants to do more damage in short bursts at the sacrifice of consistent damage sources, they should buy ability power on Ezreal. However, we should still look at the effectiveness of certain items that may benefit Ezreal, namely Nasher's Tooth and Trinity Force. Nasher's Tooth costs 2500 gold and grants 50% attack speed, 65 ability power, 10 mana regeneration, and 20% cooldown reduction. This will grant Ezreal's auto attack and abilities an extra 172.25 damage total and an extra 96.48 damage per second. If we compare the 2500 gold cost of this item to the cost of ability power and attack damage, we can see that it does not grant Ezreal as much damage as pure ability power, and not as much damage as pure attack damage. It will grant more damage per second than pure attack damage and ability power. However, let's consider the amount of gold spent on the attack speed, ability power, and cooldown reduction to be 1900, due to the 600 gold one would have to spend to get the 10 mana regeneration. In this scenario, Nasher's Tooth will also grant more damage per gold spent than pure attack damage. This essentially means that if one feels they need the extra mana regeneration on Ezreal, in addition to the damage output, the Nasher's Tooth is a very beneficial and cost-effective item. Moving on, a Trinity Force costs 4200 gold and grants 30 ability power, 30 attack damage, 30% attack speed, 10% critical strike chance, 250 health, 200 mana, 8% movement speed, a 20% chance to slow a target with auto attacks, and bonus on hit damage. The bonus on hit damage is triggered whenever Ezreal casts an ability. It will cause his next auto attack to deal damage equal to his base attack damage times 1.5. This cannot occur more than every 2 seconds. If we assume Ezreal is toggling the bonus on hit damage every 2 seconds, the Trinity Force will grant Ezreal's auto attack and abilities an extra 321.3 damage total and an extra 158.48 damage per second. Keep in mind we're including the on hit damage from Trinity Force. If we compare the 4200 gold cost of this item to the cost of ability power and attack damage, we can see that it grants more damage and damage per second than pure attack damage and more damage per second than pure ability power. It will not grant more damage than pure ability power. On Ezreal, the Trinity Force becomes a very cost-effective item, even if we're not taking the critical strike chance, health, mana, movement speed, or potential slowing effect into account. Overall, if one wants to increase their damage per second as Ezreal, they should buy attack damage boosting items. If one only cares about doing quick bursts of damage, they should buy ability power boosting items. Also, Nasher's Tooth is cost-effective if one feels they need the mana regeneration on Ezreal, 
and Trinity Force will boost Ezreal's damage and damage per second greatly, along with granting many other beneficial stats for the gold cost. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous LolMath episode. You can also like LolMath on Facebook at facebook.com slash lolmathyoutube, and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash trampolinetales. Thanks for watching this episode of LolMath.